Hello my gorgeous Gemini, welcome to this reading. It's me here and welcome, welcome to this channel. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing well. Thumbs up indeed. Right, Gemini. Weekly reading. Yes, October 23rd through the 29th. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please check your chart to find out more about yourself. Okay, we're going to have a look what's going on in your life right now. Most importantly, what spirit is trying to tell you or what message you need to really know right now. Okay, and then we're going to dive in what's happening this week. Okay, so busy, busy week. Well, in fact, busy months indeed, isn't it? We had a solar eclipse. We now have a lunar eclipse in Taurus. So which is going to bring some culmination in there could be some certain things that have been bubbling for some time and they will come to light some hidden truths or um i feel like some culmination of certain aspects and there will be more stability coming in as well realization positive negative but some sort of closure is happening so it will give you more insights of what step next step you need to take perhaps okay right before we go further thank you ever so much for being here i really appreciate your subscribes likes comments that helps me to help you are you ready wow hello there okay straight away <laughs> this little thing is um counting stock markets something to do with numbers patterns up and down you know if you ever look at the draft a graph um resistance support and how the mathematics how it bounces once another against the numbers and systematics or whatever that is um i feel like the time is ticking for some of you something to do with the time as well i'm hearing either you're playing piano and you're using that machine that to, to get you in a rhythm okay um yeah somehow trying to get in a rhythm uh routine discipline to achieve certain things maybe some, some spirit is showing me it's the clock like time is ticking guys what are you about gemini you know it i don't know for each one of you you might have different issues maybe you are um studying and you need to really perhaps pick up the pace maybe you have left behind something maybe if there's any uh, deadlines or something i feel like you are not that you're rushing but you've been ushered <laughs> yeah the word ushered i never use this word it's so funny like how spirit puts words in my mouth ushered to do something maybe you've been nudged and i see archangel uh, michael here and when i say archangel michael he's kind of giving you a nudge perhaps uh you need to step out of the comfort zone and dip your toes in water and start something or continue something uh not procrastinate because you're um, some, not doing is something delaying. And you need to get back in, in a, on a saddle. It sounds like riddle, but <laughs> spirit, uh, I will try to clarify what is this about. But I feel like, yeah, you've been ushered. Okay, you need to, you need to get going. And even whatever, good or bad, but you just need to get back in. Okay, and that activity give you more um purpose is going to bring you more confidence and realization yes i'm doing the right thing uh i'm doing something about it whatever the it is okay wow a riddle of what okay gemini let's find out what's happening this week Ooh, ho, ho. the fool look at that well the fool is a spirit he's a soul in the tarot fool's journey okay um yeah i either you're starting something all over again or you're doing something differently i feel like there's some realizations for you happening let's clarify this here you've been delaying something as if waiting for better times to come or better something to come. I do feel like you need to drop. Um, you can do whatever you want. Your free will. But I feel like some of you. We, you have some heavy baggage. Don't we all? Mm -hmm. 
heavy baggage and look at his traveling lights the past the past regrets revenge and all that kind of stuff leave them where they belong in the past move on move on baby and i feel like some of you are kind of like waiting for something look the universe is giving another cup and he's just crossing hands and not even looking at it What's going on, Gemini? I want to find out. You actually intrigue me now. I... Okay. So, for some of you, you have just asked. <laughs> some of you just asked how long this will take. Oh my God, that's why we zapped the clock. How long? Okay, the timings. So, the spirit is saying it will take some time. Six to eight months to get to see some results. Okay. It is six to eight months or weeks or however that happens, okay? But it is not something that you're building. It can't be built overnight. This is not the rich scheme, okay? This is something that you are building for future. And I might not resonate with everyone. But if you want to make stable um, foundations, you need to prepare something proper. Uh, if you are going to build something quick and, and you know instantly i don't know some sort of wanting instant fame or instant money um it's nothing right or wrong but it's about what you're doing right now it's about longevity and loyalty and stable and kind of very tick 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 you know like has not that balance you know when you play piano it, like to get keeping the rhythm you know keeping the rhythm keep going keep going because you're going to build something your dreams are going to come true they are going to materialize. They are going to bring in the fruits that you want. But you need to you need to turn up, okay? Um, I feel as well, this is a card of accountants. Numbers. Um, synchronicities. Loyalty. And keep going, okay? And knowing that whatever you do is going to bring that success. You might not see yet. And that's why it's important when you uh, build something big or um, something that you can't see in kind of ether. You break it down in smaller steps so you can celebrate those little milestones and to see kind of achievements that you have done. Okay. Okay. Overwhelmed. Some of you are very overwhelmed by right now. Okay. Even though I use this card differently, I um, feel like you're not drowned. <laughs> I hope not, literally. But there is a lot of a uh, lot of stuff on your on your heart. Okay, um, it could be as well that with this lunar eclipse, perhaps as well, um, you're feeling like emotions are running high. Um, okay, and we have Empress underneath here. Okay, but having said that, putting two together, I do see that some of you are. At the times, not always, at the times you feel very, very good and happy and you might have mood swings up and down like the, like a, the, the currency chart. That is so bizarre. Yeah. For some of you, I do feel that some of you are very... Either you're a people pleaser or you are you don't want to drop something and you literally are doing everything at the same time, but at the same time nothing gets done and can frustrate you, really frustrate you at the times. And hence you might feel like you're kind of drowning in I have not enough time in the day and something else and something else. Okay. You might need to have a, some sort of a more strict routine balance, okay? Okay, from when, what, this time to this time, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to look at the phone. I'm just going to focus on one thing at a time. One thing at a time will bring you results. And you need to have that more stricter, maybe, approach towards how you're managing your day, perhaps. Okay, because now uh, we're having, like, at some point again, we have this four. Four is kind of like holding on to too tight or not being able to let the energy flow. There's like... the some sort of stagnation happens. Sometimes you get overwhelmed with things and sometimes you kind of close off and don't let that energy flow at all. So it's good to see that we have the Ten of Cups and Knight of Cups. 
we have some movement happening we have two nights so energy is going to pick up i think october as well has been rather interesting month let's me put it this way okay where you don't know are you coming are you going there's a lot of emotions really running high as well and finally you i feel like you're going to reach a point of yeah i finally see clearly in the sky okay um like a rainbow um what i what, what it is i want but it's a stability and this is kind of rhythm healthy rhythm you're looking for let's have a look one for the road shall we yeah okay just you know what i like this card why she's sitting here there's this little kind of waves coming you know a bit of clouds around that's life right and she just sits, sits there and um have a cup of tea coffee just breathe nothing's gonna fall apart nothing's gonna happen times when you feel overwhelmed times when you feel like i'm doing everything and nothing gets done say to yourself i'm gonna have 10 minutes tea or coffee make one enjoy it do nothing just be and then i'm gonna do this and kind of set aside the time and when the time is up time is up you do something else and she's literally i know what to do i know the storm will pass and i'm just enjoying myself right now because i think you haven't enjoyed yourself for a long time uh, or for some time you looking for that um healthy rhythm you know the same as tides comes in it comes in a rhythm and it goes back out you know and that's how the life is as well and perhaps you were missing that healthy um time feeling you know and especially when we have the moon phase is so strong as well we might feel a bit of a uh, effect of that and that's absolutely fine that's absolutely fine have a cuppa um enjoy the peace and quiet and then get back to work <laughs> in your rhythm and do one thing at a time you're gonna get there you're gonna get there all right my beautiful selves have a lovely week um Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that. That helps me to help you. And I'll see you, guess where, in the next reading.